Sit and sit. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. Award-winning safety, reimagined design, and premium interiors. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2016 Nissan Rogue, just $189 per month. Or lease the 2015 Sentra, just $139 per month. Get your new Nissan now. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. Severe weather breaks across South Florida. Now take a look, a water spout forming off the coast of Fort Lauderdale Beach. Water and wind swirling over the ocean. Now closer to home, flooded streets after heavy rainfall in Jupiter. A viewer posting this video to our WPTV Facebook page saying this is off of Indian Town Road. And this is video coming to us from Tequesta where there are also reports of dime size hail. And it's not over. We could see thunderstorms and Palm Beach County into the evening. First, let's get to Storm Team 5 meteorologist James Wheatland for what you can expect as you make plans for tonight. James? Yeah, Tanya, we still have that threat out there, and boy, it was a busy afternoon. Officially, 64 mile per hour wind gusts at Jupiter Middle School, dime sized hail around Jupiter, too, and a 58 mile per hour wind gust in Juno Beach. Live 5 camera right now, we're actually seeing the sun breaking through the clouds right now. With Temperatures generally into the upper 70s and low 80s. There's that first batch of rain that pushed on off. We have more to go back here, though, and the cold front still well back to the north and west. Therefore, we will still see the chance for some showers, even possibility of some storms tomorrow, although a less threat for strong storms tomorrow, but not zero. Still some rain up along Treasure Coast and a little bit now just exiting uh, Boynton Beach area where you saw some heavy rain for a little while there before it finally pushed on off the coast. Now here are the rainfall totals here. Look at the bullseye right here in Jupiter. These are uh, three to four inch bullseyes right there and up along the Treasure Coast all of this is about a half an inch of rain along the Treasure Coast, a little bit more uniform there. Live Viper 5 max temperatures now low to mid 70s. Again, rain tapering off in Palm Beach County, a little bit left and the Treasure Coast can't rule out a stray shower or storm, even the fire back up a little bit later this evening. So I've kept it in the forecast, but I've kept it more isolated than more widespread like we saw today. And those temperatures will drop down into the mid 70s. A big change in the weather coming. I'll talk about that in a complete forecast coming up. All right, James, thank you. Now, multiple reports of flooding in northern Palm Beach County right now. You can take a look. Heavy rain leaving Juno Beach Park flooded tonight. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan is there live with the issues that it's causing. Alex? Well, Tanya, standing water and flooding, that's obviously the biggest concern here. We're here at Juno Beach Park. Take a look at this standing water here at Juno Beach Park, completely flooded here. We've seen a bunch of cars coming through here, having trouble getting through. Now, with more rain in the forecast, it could get a little bit worse over the next 24 hours. Now, today, focusing on today, we saw that the Jupiter to Cuesta area was the area that was hit hardest with um, hard rain, torrential downpour, high winds. I did speak with one gentleman who was working Turtle Fest. He says the wind took down several tents. It forced the event to end a little bit early today. He also parked his car in this flooded parking lot. Uh, he actually got it out, luckily. Um, but he says it's been a very frustrating day after a long day at, tur at Turtle Fest, of course. We live in Florida. It could rain for a little bit. If not, it could stop. We'll see what happens. It's supposed to rain tomorrow in the late afternoon, early evening. So we'll see what happens. Now, a reminder for everybody at home, if you plan on driving out here in flooded water, you are only advised to drive through standing water if it is, doesn't look to be too deep. But we're going to take a measurement here. We're going to show you exactly how deep this water is here. I got my ruler here, and we're showing that it is right around just three inches. So you are advised, but 
you can drive through this water, but out farther, it is a lot deeper. We measured it earlier. It was about uh, a foot deep. So if it is uh, deeper than four inches, you are advised not to drive through it. Um, of course, this is a reminder if you see standing water in other areas in Palm Beach County or in the Treasure Coast. Reporting live tonight in Juneau Beach, I'm Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5. We're monitoring power outages across our area. Now, within the last half hour, more than 400 in Palm Beach County are without power. A few hours ago, there was more than 1,000. In St. Lucie County, about 300 people outages. And all the other Treasure Coast counties with less than 100. Now, FPL says it is working to get that power restored. <laughs> Developing tonight, protesters from Palm Beach to the Treasure Coast rallying against all aboard Florida. About 20 people gathered in Stewart against the rail expansion. The group says profits are being put above safety. Some concern noise and vibrations from trains will drive away business in the downtown area. It seems to me a little silly to run it through a highly populated, highly tourist, highly valuable resource. But nevertheless, if you do it, do it right. More than the Treasure Coast should get united around this because it is such um, an abuse of the governmental process. Now, supporters of the train project say it will ease congestion and help the economy by bringing 10,000 jobs to the state. Breaking political news, protesters take to the streets rallying against Donald Trump. Now, on the left, rallies in Manhattan's Columbus Circle. And on the right, protests outside of Phoenix, where the GOP frontrunner wrapped up an event just hours ago. And the campaign trail heating up tonight as candidates look to the three contests Tuesday. The biggies are Arizona and Utah. NBC's Chris Ballone has more. I'm going to beat Hillary so badly. Near Scottsdale, Arizona Saturday, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump rallied with thousands of supporters ahead of Tuesday's Arizona primary, painting himself as a political outsider. The establishment, they don't know what they're doing. They have no clue. They don't know how to win. They haven't won in a long time. As Trump spoke, protesters demonstrated. A few dozen blocked the road leading to his Arizona event, police arresting three there. While across the country in New York City, hundreds marched from Columbus Circle to Trump Tower. Trump continued his tough on illegal immigration talk, insisting that he will stop illegal border crossings. We're going to have a big, beautiful wall that nobody's crossing and nobody's going underneath. While Trump spoke, Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders was also in Arizona at the Mexican border. We need immigration reform that keeps families together, that ends the fear of deportation, and that allows the return of deported family members. Utah is the other state holding a primary Tuesday. There, Let's Donald go. Trump's chief rival, Senator Ted Cruz, insisted he is the Republican Party's best hope to beat the New York billionaire. Donald has been supporting liberal Democratic politicians for 40 years. The gloves are off, but will any of it slow Trump's path to the nomination? Chris Pallone, NBC News, New York. Now, Trump will be in town tomorrow night for a Palm Beach County Republican Party dinner. The sold-out event is at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club. It had been scheduled for last week, but was moved so it would take place after Florida's primary. We'll have crew there, so we'll make sure. Stay tuned to WPTV for all of your political coverage. Developing now, an American soldier has been killed in Iraq. The Marine was stationed outside the ISIS hell city of Mosul. The Pentagon says it was an indirect attack. We are waiting to learn the soldier's name. Now, the last time a U.S. service member was killed in Iraq was in October. Investigators are looking into three possible causes for a plane crash in Russia. This debris is all that is left. All 62 people on board were killed when the Fly Dubai flight went down in the southern part of the country. Authorities believe bad weather played a role, but they are also looking into a possible technical issue in human error as factors. Winds of 60 miles per hour were reported at the time of the crash. Still ahead on News Channel 5 at 6, ISIS video. The terrorist group releases a new video showing a British hostage after the break the message he has for the United States. And close call, a drone nearly hits a plane headed to one of the nation's largest airports. Just how close it got and what pilots are being asked to do tonight. 
You're watching News Channel 5 and WPTV, local coverage you can count on. President Obama heads to Cuba. We want you to see history made. With team coverage. This Monday and Tuesday, WPTV News Channel 5's Michael Williams and Michelle Casada are live in Havana, taking you inside the country as history is made. Exclusives you'll only see on WPTV News Channel 5. You'll get new information first, video first, anywhere you are. Be a part of history with us. Local coverage everywhere. The President in Cuba and WPTV is live this Monday and Tuesday. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2016 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. Lizette El Montreal's fashion forward and always on trend designs are for women of every shape and size for every age and lifestyle. From stunning pants, tops, and jackets, Lizette L. Montreal makes you feel good on the inside and out. Available at these fine retailers. Helping mother and daughter feel good inside and outside. From one generation to the next, where Lizette L. Montreal keeps you in style. Cool. Introducing the new QX60 from Infinity. Lease the new Infinity QX60 for $4.79 a month. Visit your local Infinity retailer. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Get a two year lease on a new 2016 Toyota Corolla LE for $159 a month. Toyota, let's go places. New at 6, France has issued a new arrest warrant against Salah Abdeslam to speed up extradition. It gives Belgian authorities about two months to move him from French soil. Meanwhile, the accused terrorist now tells authorities he wanted to kill himself during the Paris attacks in November, but backed out. ISIS has released a new propaganda video, this time featuring a British hostage. Journalist John Cantlie was kidnapped in 2012. The three-minute video shows him talking about U.S. airstrikes that target media kiosks where ISIS propaganda is distributed. He says Americans are so bankrupt of intelligence, a kiosk are all they have left to target. This is the first message from the journalist in over a year. And contact and capture the Soyuz TMA-20M, now docked to the International Space Station. A new crew has boarded the International Space Station. NASA releasing this new video a few hours ago. The spacecraft blasted off of Kazakhstan last night. Uh, two Russians and American astronaut Jeff Williams. Now the crew made it to the space station a little after one this morning. Coming up, reunited at last, the unexpected turn of events that led a family to their lost dog. And some big changes in the weather coming up with a cold front moving on through. Coming up, I'll let you know when it will clear out and just how cold it'll get. This week, save thousands at Brayman Honda of Palm Beach. During the Honda Dream Garage Sales Event, the all-new 2016 Civic is just $169 a month. Save thousands this week. Brayman Honda, number one for 10 years, thanks to you. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Recently, a 1954 Mercedes-Benz Grand Prix race car made history when it sold for a record price of just under $30 million. And now, another Mercedes-Benz makes history selling at just over $30,000. And to think this one actually has a surround sound stereo. The 2015 CLA. Lease the CLA 250 for $299 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. 
Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Good. Stay, stay, lay down. I'd like to take this time. What you Roll over. Roll over. Almost. Roll over. Good. It took Joel Silverman years to become a master dog trainer. Roll over. Good job. But only a few commands to master depositing checks at Chase ATMs. Technology designed for you, so you can easily master the way you bank. This week, save thousands at Brayman Honda of Palm Beach. During the Honda Dream Garage Sales Event, the all-new 2016 Civic is just $169 a month. Save thousands this week. Brayman Honda, number one for 10 years, thanks to you. New at six, five boaters are safe after being rescued off the Gulf Coast. Coast Guard crews tweeted out pictures a few hours ago. Now you can see the boat flipped over in the water. Now this was off the coast of Clearwater Beach. Crews were able to rescue everyone on board and take them safely to shore. Covering America first, a close call in Los Angeles. A drone nearly hitting a passenger plane heading to Los Angeles International Airport. Officials say the drone came within about 200 feet from the jet yesterday. The plane was arriving from Germany. Police helicopter pilots have been told to keep an eye out for the drone. No word on why it got so close. New video out from Massachusetts. Now take a look. A baker is glad to be alive after an oven exploded. The man just feet away when it happened. Another nearby employee you can see runs in to help. Now luckily he was not seriously hurt, but the force from the blast knocked out part of a brick wall. This all happened last week. Now repairs are still being made to the building. Investigators say a buildup of gas is likely to blame. Out with the old and in with the new. Take a look at two high rises in Philadelphia reduced to rubble today as a housing authority looks to modernize the area. The new development will be a mix of affordable and market rate rentals and homes. A huge surprise for a Virginia family. They were reunited with their dog after seeing it on TV. Now, Buddy went missing last month. Desperate searches to find him turned up nothing. That's until this week the dog appeared on a local news pet adoption segment. The animal shelter says at least five families called, wanting to adopt Buddy after seeing him on TV, but before they got a chance. The first thing Wednesday, the shelter opened up at 1 o'clock, and I was there waiting on him to open up the door. Now, Buddy's owner took family photos proving that the dog belonged to him and his daughters, and they were happily reunited. Oh. Turtle fans of all ages came out to Loggerhead Marine Life Center for its annual Turtle Fest. The event focuses on promoting conservation through close-up interactions with threatened and endangered sea turtles. Visitors were also treated to music, arts, games, and other activities. Organizers say the free event is a way to give back to the community. Today's our day to say thank you for all of the people of our community and all of the corporate sponsors that come together and make our sea turtle hospital run each and every day. Organizers say this year they had the biggest crowd yet with more than 10,000 people attending the festival. And it looks like they were able to get most of it started before this rain all started moving through. You can see the dark yeah. skies, too, in the background. Is that, is that our new, uh, that, I think that was our, <laughs> our, our new, new reporter? reporter? Probably. <laughs> Tommy the Turtle, or I don't know. Which that works. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah, we thought we were saying, uh, you know, the past couple of days it was going to be more pushed towards the afternoon. So at least they got some of it in. Same with the boat show the morning was fine and then the afternoon littered with all the rain out there uh, right now we're actually seeing the sun breaking through live five camera looking out peanut island and singer island looking just fine up the intracoastal there and temperatures right now 74 degrees rain cooled 74 degrees northwest wind 13 miles per hour uh, after some of that rain moved on through now not everybody saw the rain a little bit more sparse in central and southern Palm Beach County, then say North County and all the way up to the Treasure Coast where you did see some rain there. Current temperature, Treasure Coast 72. The Palm Beaches, we're, got, we're back into the 80s there in Boca, 81 degrees, 74 in Boynton Beach. Now, I've kept just a chance for some isolated rains going into the evening hours. The widespread stuff will be gone, though, but I got to keep the chance for some showers or even if uh, 
rumble of thunder overnight too. Now, how about tomorrow for the last day of the boat show? Downtown West Palm Beach will start off in the 70s. We're going to end up in the middle 80s. Once again, we're going to see some rain push on through and the possibility for a few storms. Also, towards the afternoon hours, say just after noon time, and then into the evening hours, things will start to taper on down. Just see a little bit of a rain chance there. Now we have all the rain that moved through here. We have more back to the west. All of this in association with a couple disturbances that are gonna move on through, spark low pressure to form, move up, and pull down a big cold front our way. So here's Vipercast. Here's that little bit of rain that may move through around midnight or so. And then tomorrow, say late morning, we're going to see some rain along the Treasure Coast. By the afternoon, it moves into Palm Beach County. Then by nine o'clock or so, finally the last of this will end. Then we'll clear out very quickly and we'll see some much cooler weather headed our way. In fact, we go from the mid 80s, well above normal, to the upper 60s for high temperatures on Monday. And it'll be windy, so it'll feel real chilly out there. Mid 70s on Tuesday looks beautiful. Upper 70s on Wednesday and then back in the end 80s by the end of the week. We stay very dry after tomorrow too. Low to no rain chances through midweek. So the forecast for tonight, upper 60s, isolated rain. Tomorrow, mid 80s again, more rain, chance of thunderstorms too, but the severe threat not quite as great as today. Boating forecast, be aware, some of those offshore moving storms could contain some gusty winds. Same with the beachgoers too. Uh, not the greatest of beach days quite yet. All right, seven day forecast. High temperatures just drop like a rock and lows down into the middle 50s for a couple of mornings. This is Sunday night. This is Monday night here. So you might need that sweater or jacket and then we have beautiful fall or spring like weather for Tuesday and Wednesday and then we're back into the 80s by the end of the week. Still to come in sports, FAU wrapping up week one of spring practice. Hear from head coach Charlie Partridge who used the opportunity to grow his team now and for the future. And here's what's coming up on News Channel 5 tonight at 8, Dateline NBC, followed by Saturday Night Live at 10. Then stick around for local coverage you can count on on News Channel 5 at 11. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this used Coachman Murata. Discounted to just $3.79 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. During the Lexus Command Performance Sales Event, and it's met for three. there's always cause for celebration. Go! With extraordinary offers on the Visionary LS, the generously appointed ES, and the new eight-passenger LX. Fast, lets it fly. Got it! Because thrills it's like this only happen during the Command Performance Sales Event. Lease the 2016 ES350 for $349 a month for 36 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. Award-winning safety, reimagined design, and premium interiors. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. For a limited time, get up to $2,500 bonus cash on top of existing offers on select models. Get your new Nissan now. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Just steps away from the water, relax and enjoy the atmosphere and amazing food with locations across South Florida. Mulligan's Beach House Bar and Grill. Fun and food for the entire family. Honda knows that being adaptable has its advantages. That's why the fit lets you do more throughout your day. Gives you a better view of your surroundings. And helps you stay in touch on the go. The Fit, from KBB.com's best value brand. Nothing compares to a Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a new or used RV. Like this used Coachman Murata, discounted to just $3.79 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Women's Health Center, specializing in the early detection of breast cancer. 
Time now for the Honda Sports Desk with ESPN 106.3 on WPTV News Channel 5. Well, after a wild start to March Madness, which saw a tie for the most upsets ever in the first round, anything this weekend is going to be hard to top. The Miami Hurricanes, a three seed, could be the first team today to punch their ticket to the Sweet 16. However, they were on upset alert after 11 seed Wichita State was dominant in their first round matchup. The Canes looking to advance to their third Sweet 16 in program history. And what a divine start. Angel Rodriguez to Sheldon McLennan. The roll makes the good times rolling. Canes up five early. Later in the first, Rodriguez from the land of plenty. He had a game high and career high 28 points. Miami on fire, up 17. They led by as many as 21. But here come the Shockers. Second half, Ron Baker from the wing, giving Wichita State their first lead of the afternoon, but it will be their only lead because moments later, the announcers call him Angel down here. He's on hell. Ay Dios mio off the glass. Miami headed to the Sweet 16 again under Jim Laranega. 65-57 the final. Canes, though, have never made the Elite Eight. FAU football hit the practice field for the third time this spring earlier today. For the first time in pads. The team got in about two hours of work just beating those afternoon showers. Head coach Charlie Partridge and the Owls also wrapped up their final day of hosting high school coaches for a two-day clinic. You know what, it's, uh, it's fun. We spent time with them last night and really just had uh, open social and offered the chance to them for, uh, for them to ask questions. Uh, and then this morning we went through all phases. I talked about some culture, changing things. Uh, all of our coordinators spoke and then we talked by position and had some great guys, some guys that were really, I've known for years and my staff is getting uh, really used to being around and getting to know on a personal level. So uh, it was great. We're just sharing ideas and teaching them what we're doing here at Florida Atlantic. Today in West Palm, the Triangle Club hosting three-time Winter Olympian Bill Schiffenhauer. Speaking to the crowd, the Olympian has share of adversity through life, including drug abuse, gang violence, and moving from foster home to foster home. With the help of the Insight Series, designed to empower both speakers and audiences alike, Schiffenhauer wanted to tell his story and hopes he can inspire those facing adversity. You know, just realizing that anybody can overcome, you know, obstacles in their life and, and make changes in their life. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, a young kid, middle aged, old, there's always an opportunity for, you know, better change in your life. And, you know, if I can help motivate or inspire someone to make positive changes in their life, then I'll feel good about that. That That's March nice. Madness, definitely yeah. in full swing. It definitely is. All right, thank you very much, Ian. Last look at that weather. Yeah, more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Then we clear out and look at that beautiful Mother Nature air conditioning going on Monday, Tuesday, even in the Wednesday. NBC Nightly News is next. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. I'm attorney Lance Ivey, partner at Lotto Rider Smith Ivey and Fromrath. And this is my client, Lisa Moyers, True Story. I felt very hopeless. After two attorneys, I believed that I was going to walk away with nothing and that my children and I would have no future. And when I met Lance Ivey, everything changed. I was getting thrown out of my old house. I was terrified of how I was going to take care of my children. I thought we were going to end up homeless. I thought he was my knight in shining armor. I thought he was my hero. He gave me hope when I didn't think I had any more hope. I could tell when I met him that he truly cared, that he really wanted to help. Lytle Ryder, Smith, Ivy, and Fraunrath, foyerrights.com. Water Club North Palm Beach the most celebrated new waterfront community in the Palm Beaches announces even more reasons to celebrate. Expansive new floor plans, new resort amenities, and endless views in the heart of everything you love about the Palm Beaches. Move in this fall and celebrate the ultimate in private club living. Water Club North Palm Beach, presented by Coulter. It's Big Shot 
Sunday on NBC. Should every princess have a prince? Sometimes you just have a prince where you don't even want a prince. It all starts with a phenomenon, Little Big Shots, with host Steve Harvey. She laughed for that. Then it's a new episode of The Carmichael Show. I can always tell when somebody's pregnant. Oh. Followed by the premiere of Crowded. We love you all. But sometimes we don't. And Hollywood Game Night. It all happens Sunday, starting at 8, 7 central on NBC. It's go time now at Volkswagen. Save big on South Florida's hottest selling brand. Volkswagen, all on sale this week. Go smarter in a new Jetta. Lease for just $119 a month or zero down. Go in style in the new Passat. Now only $149 a month or zero down. Or go turbocharged in a new Tiguan SUV. $159 a month or zero down. The quality you demand. The technology you want. Buy with 0% for 60 months. But go now before these amazing Volkswagen deals are gone. Defective products like these have killed or injured thousands of people. Don't be a victim. We have the financial resources and the trial experience to take on big manufacturing. Lytle Rider Smith, Ivy and Fraunrath, 1-800-4-RIGHTS. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. WPTV News Channel 5, number one all day, every day. On this Saturday night, charged with murder, the dramatic new details tonight on how the suspect in the deadly Paris bombing attacks was finally tracked down and captured in Belgium as a French try to bring him back to face trial. Deadly crash searching for answers in Russia after a Boeing 737 crashes and breaks apart on landing in bad weather, killing all 62 people on board. Arizona battleground. Ahead of Tuesday's primary, we are out with the protesters who are blocking traffic and chaining themselves to cars in the ground war to try to stop Trump. And road less traveled. Why so many teenagers are deciding to wait before getting a driver's license, putting off a rite of passage. Nightly News begins now. From NBC News World Headquarters. Good evening. He was Europe's most wanted man, and today, one day after his capture in Belgium after a four-month search, Salah Abdeslam was officially charged with murder in connection with the terror attacks in Paris that killed 130 people last November. French officials say he played a central role in the planning and logistics of the attacks, but then backed out himself before the first shots were fired. At the same time, dramatic new details emerged of how authorities tracked him down and how he got away from them one last time before he was finally caught. Keir Simmons is in Brussels tonight with the very latest. Keir. Jose, good evening. Tonight, police are standing guard outside the apartment where Abdesar was captured at yesterday. It's just along the street there. Today, the police have been questioning him and officials say he has been providing answers. Charged with participating in terrorist murder, Salah Abdesalam was transferred in a convoy escorted by a police chopper to a high-security prison today. Shot in the leg in last night's raids, Abdesalam is now cooperating, his lawyer says, admitting driving some attackers to Paris, according to a French prosecutor, claiming he planned to blow himself up, then backtracked. Victims of the attack taking it in tonight. I wouldn't say it's a relief that he's been arrested. To be honest, the first thing I felt when I heard the news was numb. They want to see him